So I was digging through some stuff that Dr. Lava actually suggested uh, that he found according to his own research. And I found something that I don't think a lot of people really realize either. So in Generation 1, there was originally 191 Pokemon, if we count Mew being in slot 191 before it replaced Omega in slot 21. Um, but what's really interesting, though, is you might remember in Gen 5, there was two Pokemon called Pet Petalittle and uh, Lilligant. And, well, come to find out, according to a 2011 interview with uh, the lead director of the Pokemon Illustrators, Ken, um, he actually suggested that a lot of Gen... Like, the Pelagon family, or uh, Lilligan family, was actually supposed to be mirrored versions. There was supposed to be a three-formed evolution. So there was a second evolution in between the final form and the first evolution that was actually cut. And then they found out that they were actually supposed to be mirrored images of uh, some of the grass families from like Gen 1. So is it possible, and this is a long shot, but is it possible that Pelagon and uh, Lilligant and uh, whatever its uh, surprisingly evolved form was actually supposed to be um, the the missing index numbers of 182, 183, and 184 as far as the index numbers go. Because if you think about it, they probably scrapped the concept because they probably already had enough grass type Pokemon. And really, like if you think about it, they they probably already had like three. They already had two families at least of three that weren't starters of grass types. Like for example, you had um, you had originally Oddish. Gloom, and then finally Violet Plume, and then you had, um, you had, uh, what was it, uh, you had Bellsprout, Weepin' Bell, and then Victory Bell, if we go by the English names, but then if you want to go even further, you also had Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur, but those were the starters, originally, so you can see they had a lot of grass-type Pokemon, and there was other ones too, I suppose, but, but it's just interesting to think that, though. So, is it possible, because what's really interesting is index numbers 182, 183, and 184 are actually the fossils and the ghost sprite. So the ghost of Marowak, or the ghost sprite without the Siltco, uh, Silscope. Um, you, uh, did, and, and eventually those were traded in the Gen 3 Poke Gen 2 Pokemon, and we found out later on that some of those Pokemon would be Lugia, uh, Pubitar, and Tyranitar, for example. And... I don't think that's a coincidence. A lot of the Gen 2 Pokemon that were originally scrapped, uh, if we cover this channel, a lot of Pokemon were reused, recycled into something else, or just outright they had. So what would their beta designs have been? That's the question. But it is interesting to think that, yes, it is proof that all the ideas that they did have, they did recycle them into other things. You know? So that's actually pretty cool. And... Um, you know, I'll, I'll share this with you, too, because I found this out. Uh, so, apparently, when Satoshi Tajiri was... Uh, they used to have, like, bug contests back when, you know, they used to do insect collecting. And, like, the kids would usually go and put honey on the trees and all that. And they would try to get the bugs and all that the next day. Well, well, Satoshi Tajiri knew something that a lot of other people didn't know. He put the... Uh, he put used to put rocks under the trees... And the beetles and all that would hide under there. They would sleep under there. He'd get up real early in the morning, go there, and he usually had more bugs than everybody else because the bugs were there sleeping. That's how he got a lot of the ones that he was looking for because, you know, everything has to sleep at some point. So Satoshi Tajiri figured, well, you know, what's a good place to hide? Under a rock, right? So there you go. That's actually pretty interesting. You know, the man was smart growing up. He should be proud of himself. But anyways... So, we also have, so, the way I look at it, getting back on topic, though, I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest that that would make sense, because as far as Pokemon goes, I mean, there have been so many things that have just been moved around. If, if we think about it, everything, very rarely have there just been things in a ratio that have been scrapped altogether, or they just haven't been scrapped, but changed or delayed, you know? So, they've been turned into something else, let's just say. It doesn't surprise me in the slightest that maybe Pokemon decided to do that because if you look at the index numbers including the national dexter entries you might notice how some pokemon were just moved around like near the very end like i mean i'm noticing like there was a lot of scrapped evolutions that were supposed to be in gen 2 believe it or not that were used in gen 4 like leafeon um there were two pokemon i could tell you for a fact that could have been and i still got to make this video 
um, cause I'm digging into it a little bit more, but there have been reasons to believe that a lot of the scrapped evolutions that were supposed to be in gen two and maybe gen three's prototype. Cause remember in gen three, there was supposed to be like 411 Pokemon that we know of, but there was only 386. So that's 25 missing. What are the other 25 evolutions? So what, what ended up happening, though, was we found out that a lot of those Pokemon were just remade, reworked, removed, and then recycled into something else later on, like Gen 4, Gen 5, depending on the generation it was originally from. So I think a lot of the Pokemon were eventually used at some point. And then, but what's really interesting is index number 181 is actually supposed to be Larvitar. But, and I can believe that because Larvitar was eventually recycled into, um, you know, you had Decella if in this, in the substitute doll. So they had the concept of what a Larvitar would have looked like, but it just was reworked. And if you remember in the space demo, space world demo, there was a beta Larvitar in, um, it wasn't finished, but it would eventually be finalized, reworked. And then that's what they did with it. Delcia would evolve into a Pubitar but instead of just straight into a Tyranitar. So Tyranitar, if you don't know, and it's final def enough, de final Dexter entries and statements, it states that, you know, it, it challenges Pokemon that are brave because it believes its armor can't be pierced. It can destroy mountains and all that. Larvitar is basically, once it's born out of an egg, deep in the ground, it's got to eat all the, the soil around it so it can emerge to the top. Pubitar is basically a bouncing shield which I always thought was funny because in Pokemon Mystery Dungeons, it always made me laugh. You got Pubitar just like hanging. He's just trying to catch up <laughs> with Pubitar's eyes in the in the middle. <laughs> that's funny. But it but it's true, though. You know, they um, that's what they did, though. You know, Pokemon, I believe they, they did that much. A lot of the ideas are just moved around, but they did keep the originality of them. They wanted to use them. They redid them. And, you know, we still got, we still got like a Mecha Godzilla of some kind, just a little bit different, Blastoise. But a lot of ideas were probably just recreations and re, they remerged it a few times here and there, but it, they basically just moved stuff around. But as far as Gen 1 goes, I wouldn't be surprised that all the Pokemon were just eventually recycled into something else. Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5, all the way up to Gen 8. And if there's a Gen 9, which I wouldn't be surprised, um, I wouldn't be surprised what Pokemon they do either. So far, the one Pokemon that we they extended the furthest would have been uh, Sobble that we know of. It was actually supposed to be Skimper from Gen 1. It was supposed to be a Water Dragon. Then eventually Gen 2 hit, and then the Beta Water Pokemon was eventually recycled. I believe it was Totodile that was re eventually recycled from a Pokemon called Crocky because they kind of look the same, but their their eyes look the same, sort of, and and its smile, you know, because you know Totodile is a crocodile, and it's instead of a Baliska crocodile that stalks you in the dark and turns you to stone, it's actually a Pokemon just that just can't stop biting. It kind of reminds me of the Pokemon, uh, you know, like Garchomp's uh, Gabbit and uh, Gabbill. You know, it's an adorable Pokemon, but it can't stop biting. You know, same thing with Totodile. So, uh, especially Crocodon and, uh, and uh, what was it? Uh, and uh, what was the other one? Uh, Fraligator. Fraligator. You know, they also, um, they all had their own differences and whatnot, but it's, I wouldn't be surprised that a lot of these Pokemon were eventually reused into something else because they all seem to meet that that criteria. You know, there's just reason to believe that some of the Pokemon, and especially since the game designers had confirmed that they were using ideas from before that they originally scrapped, that they turned it into something else, I wouldn't be surprised that that was where they got it originally. Because Gen 5, I think even, if I remember correctly, there were even a couple other Pokemon that were supposed to be in Gen 3 that might have been in Gen 5, at least. So if that's true, then, wow, we got to cover that too. But I'll make a video about that very shortly. But I'm going to, probably the next Pokemon Theory video I'm going to make is going to be about Gen 3 and its 25 Pokemon that were allegedly caught. I know a couple of them offhand. One of them was like uh, uh, the evolution of Manga. Magna, the uh, the Dragonfly from Gen 2, the one Pokemon that would evolve in a Mega Yama, I believe, or something like that. It was uh, another giant Dragonfly. Sounds like a really cool, kind of sounds like it has Monferno's uh, Cry, the uh, Pokemon that uh, Chimchar evolves into, sort of. <laughs> it's, it's really cool, actually, you know, how uh, some Pokemon sound very similar.
like ditto and like some pokemon like i don't know if anybody knows this but like some pokemon have the same cry basically you have like like poliwag has the same cry as ditto and they never changed that i thought that was adorable <laughs> so that's pretty cool um but anyways yeah if if uh, if i find more information i'll uh make videos about it but if you like these kind of videos please subscribe and if not uh, what are some suggestions that we can do to make this better? Um, suggestions. As well as, what what topics would you like to hear? Is there something I haven't covered yet? Because I will look into it if it means. Because, I, I, you know, like people like Dr. Lava, you know, we have to stick together. We have to keep finding this stuff, and we just got to keep talking about this stuff. Bring, you know, there's a lot of things in these games that we don't know about that are still out there.